Hey guys and girls, welcome back to another beautiful video on this beautiful channel, on this beautiful day. How you guys and girls doing? Hope you're doing great as always. Please check out the description box for all the nice links. Also drop a like, subscribe if you like the content. So we're working with some weapon classes here. And we have, we made four new classes in, or five new classes in the last video. Now what I want to work with are these two classes. So melee weapon and sword. <laughs> And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and remove these printouts because we know that stuff works. Uh, just like that. And also from item. Item doesn't really need that much stuff. It's all good. It doesn't really matter. Um, now I'm going to do something in this. Let me just close all of these that we don't need. So range. Weapon. We're going to need game state item. We're not going to need. Pretty much like this. That looks good. Okay. All right. So uh, we're going to go into player and we're going to remove a lot of the stuff. Uh, where is player anyway? Let's see. Entities player. All right. So we're going to remove most of the stuff for the sword, right? And we have the weapon texture, all that stuff. I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to leave attacking actually, but I'm just going to remove those two and I'm going to put them in melee weapon dot H wherever it is right here. And I'm going to put it under uh, protected. So we're going to have a private section here, but we're also going to have a protected version. All right. So it's basically private. If you remember, uh, it's just that it is accessible freely from classes that uh, that uh, derive from melee weapon. So sword is going to have access to these um, without having to make getters and setters. So there we go. Once that's done, I'm just going to remove this bow as well from game state. Uh, then we go back into this and we're going to fix all of these all of these problems we're having here. So I just cut that out. And I'm going to paste it into melee weapon uh, right in there. So we're going to load it. We're going to load the sword. And we're going to set the texture and set the origin of it. And what we're going to do later is we're actually going to have a texture in here. We're going to have an origin in here. Things we can send in to customize the melee weapon, right? And that's going to that's gonna help us out considerably. Uh, or we'll just do all this in sword itself. You know what? We could actually, we could actually do that. We could just go in a sword and just do that instead, because that will just set it specifically to all of this. So we'll load it and we'll set it. Okay, so that's good. Since it is a sword anyway, we can't create a melee weapon by itself. It is a pure or is an abstract class. So let's go back into player. Keep looking. What do we have? Uh, update all right uh, we're just gonna control x all of that okay and go back into melee no sword sword just gonna do that and we're gonna go ahead and say uh, that we need a void update function virtual void update and we're gonna have a sf vector 2f um, const sf vector 2f mouse plus view okay we could do that <clears throat> okay now this is abstract by the way it wasn't before now it is once we have that, we're also going to need a virtual void render. SF render. Come on. Render target. Target. Come on, dude. All right. So very basic stuff. Mm. And then I'm just going to go in a sword. And I'm going to paste all this code here. Don't worry. What I want to do is I want to go into melee weapon.h again and copy these two and put them into sword.h. All 
All right, so that's my whole plan here and define these remove the equals zero so they're so sort itself doesn't become abstract we don't want that okay once those two are defined let's start working on these so we got our function sorry about the sounds by the way got a bunch of noobs driving around out here uh, okay so in update we're gonna do this and okay all right <clears throat> So we're going to need center and we're going to need mouse position view. So mouse, sorry about that, plus view is the name. So I'm just going to copy that. And I'm also going to add a, a center class sword. All right, let's see how that works. Go into player. And let's see how get center works. So it returns a copy, a copy. All right, does it return a copy? Let's see. Okay, that was a reference. Good, good, good. All right, this is good to know. Uh, const sf vector 2f center. All right, this is for the rotation. That's why we're doing this. So now we have to go back in here, paste that in there, change the name of this to mouse post view. I'm just going to copy both of these to make my life a little easier. Uh, go back in here. Just change this to center. All right. Sorry if I'm jumping around too much. I'm just changing the names of all of these. So once that's done, go back into melee weapon. Just paste those two right in there. And it's same thing in the CPP file. No, you don't have to define that actually. That's pretty good. Okay. Uh, this weapon sprite dot. Okay. We're going to draw it on this target. So target dot draw this weapon sprite so we're going to render that we're also going to update it like that and we have everything loaded nicely in here no problems no problems we might have a few protected or private variables here like damage and stuff or that's no that's going to be in melee weapons so we can actually access those so let's just make an int damage damage min and damage max just like that just to have a few variables um and then items every item is probably going to have a value a type just stuff like that that's going to be in the item class itself um so it's going to be great that's going to be cool let me just think so now we have the sword pretty much set up here just for testing all right don't don't think that this is how we're going to have it because loading in textures like this every time you create a sword is not at all viable. This is not good. You're going to have to have this somewhere else loaded only once when the game starts or when when the game state starts and then we're going to load or we're going to we're going to uh, point to that texture from this class. We're not going to load it in. Again, I know a lot of you might not do it that way. Well, you really should start doing it because if you're going to spawn a bunch of enemies and weapons and constantly load from file, that's going to, well, that's just, it's not going to work for you. It's going to be crazy, low FPS and stuff. But let's just go ahead into player and we're going to try some stuff, all right? Now, now this isn't either how we're going to do it. We're not just going to include each weapon type in here. That's dumb. So we're going to have probably one file where we include everything. Um, but I'm just going to include sword here for the sake of testing. Uh, so we can create a little sword. Uh, and the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to. I'm going to. Where am I? All right, here. All right. Sword. Sword. All right. I'm just going to do that. That's all I'm going to do. And that's going to create. That's going to load all the stuff I needed to load. I don't need to initialize anything. And then if I go down to update, I'm just going to say this sword dot update and I'm just gonna give it everything mouse post view center uh, no this gets center all right beautiful beautiful and then I'm gonna actually render it so I'm just gonna remove this oh okay yeah all right so when we're drawing it we're gonna have to send in a shader as well 
So let's think here. Da 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 da. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Let's see. This sword dot render target. All right, pretty much. If we don't have a shader, if we do have a shader, uh, we're gonna do this. All right, let's see. Shader set uniform. All right, oh, that's that's where that is. Okay, no problems. All right, just gonna have to set the shader right there, and then. Let's see how we're going to do this. This sword render target shader. Pretty much that's how we're going to do it. We're also going to send in the shader right here. Um, sword render sf shader shader. No, a pointer to a shader, of course, equals null pointer. Wait, keep that away from here, actually. Put that in the H, H file right there. So render like that. And then we need to put that into melee weapon. We can remove this, actually, just like that. All right. Looks just fine. If shader target.draw this weapon sprite shader else just render it regularly like that okay looks looks fine to me looks fine that way we can just render it directly like that as well um and it seems nice all right let's try to run this and see what happens who knows probably gonna crash uh, that's not good either all right, so it is updating, it is rotating, it is working just the way I want it to work. And also affected by the shader, which is which is nice. Now, if I were to not send the shader in, just to test this out, I just want to see if, if this is going to work. Yeah, well, I mean, it is totally right anyway, so... You know what probably it probably does work it's all good just that i can't really see it because it's all light in there anyway um but that that looks cool all right that looks great now at least the sword is rendering that's not how we're gonna do it we're gonna create a initialized uh weapon thingy okay it's gonna initialize our our stuff we're gonna have a pointer not to sword but we're gonna have a pointer to melee weapon and one pointer to uh, ranged weapon because in our game our character is going to be able to hold a melee weapon and a ranged weapon you can switch between those and kind of do your melee attacks and then jump back maybe dodge back and then just shoot some arrows and stuff so it's gonna be pretty cool right we can uh, we can probably make that work uh, we could also make it work by making a general weapon class and just have one pointer to a weapon so you can hold one weapon at a time but we'll see how that works out we'll, we'll probably do the most fun way i'll think about it a little bit uh, but until then, thank you so much for watching. Thanks for all your support. Hopefully you're learning stuff. Uh, please check out the description box again. Drop a like, subscribe if you like the content as well. It really helps me out. And thank you so much for watching. Take care, and I'll see you guys and girls in the next one, right? Bye-bye.